Picture having your own platform where you can showcase the courses you've built and newsletter subscriptions like a storefront to your expertise. Whether you are sharing knowledge or building your own brand, creating a course is the foundation. In this video, I will show you how you can create your first course step by step and soon you'll have a profile just like this, where you can share your expertise with the world. So let's get started and create your first course. All right, folks, before we jump right into the course creation, what we need is a place for the course to live. And this is the profile that you saw that looks great. And for us to create it, we just have to go to tools and click creators profile. This is something simple, but it won't take you more than two minutes to go through it. And just so that you see, you have to fill in your name, your bio, full bio, and an avatar. And that's just about you. That's something very simple. And if I go back to my profile, if I go right here, you will see that this is where the name goes. This is the short bio and the full bio. We'll just go here. So that's very straightforward. And you will also see that this is where the social media icons go also below you here so that you will see right below that you can add your social media here, can add another platform can choose and add your link. Not complicated at all. You can also add your profile logo. It's also very simple to, to, to do. You will just be able to upload it and it will live right here. So that's something you can do very quickly. And then you can have your domain. We as GetResponse, we provide you a free subdomain that you can use. Mine is myfitness.gr.courses but you can connect your own domain so that you can display your profile into pedro.com. If that was my website, that could be it. Uh, so you can always have that option so that you know, and then you have the SEO settings. This is just to help you get found in the search. But in general, what you should be doing is, be, is to share your profile in your social media, in your blog, in anything else that you have, but this can help you out to get seen as well. But if you don't wish to write it or if you don't have any knowledge or want to explore it, you can just disable. No big deal. And then I advise you to just click to view, give your profile a check and then click save. Nothing else to do. And we are under two minutes in this video, you already have a profile. This is something that will be very quick and then we will jump into course creation right here. All right, so you will land in this page and you will see I already have two courses, uh, but let's create another one and I will teach you how. You just go to create course over here and what we will do is we will use AI to create the course for us. We will still add our knowledge, but as the outline and some of the text and suggestions, we could use AI's help just to get us started. That's how you should think about it. You should still bring your knowledge to the table. This is how you can partner with AI to create great content. Of course, if you wish to do it alone, you can also just click to add module and go through it. But we will do it with AI and we will do a course about muscle building in 32 weeks. So let's see what AI will generate for us. All right, you already see, I already have everything here on the left. Um, and first I want to do this so that you see everything here that we have. So these on the left are called modules, or if you prefer the name chapter uh, in general, and, and each module is actually divided in different lessons. And lessons are divided in six formats, uh, plus qu uh, a quiz if you wish so. Uh, so those are actually seven. But you can add text, video, audio, PDFs, external resources. Think of linking a YouTube video, for example, or uh, something else that you have uh, that you can add a URL. You can add webinars that you can create with GetResponse and also quizzes to test your uh, students' knowledge and to keep them engaged also. But let's now see what, what AI suggested for us. So introduction to muscle building, inter in understanding muscle growth. So we could already use that. And to upload your video, you can just go here and click to use. I've already done this before to just add the video to get response. But if you have it in your computer, you can also just import. It's something very easy. If you want, if you want to add text below it, 
you can also do and you can also use AI here if I do for example understanding muscle growth introduction we could just have that have a short uh, description uh, right here to just complement our video in and you can use once again AI to help you with that we can then even get rid of a few things overall but we could then click to preview the lesson and you will see that we will have the video and we will have the text right here everybody. so you see that that's an old video for me too uh, but you can complement these two and one thing that you can also do is to go here to the bottom and set this as a free preview so this means that this lesson will be able to be seen uh, by other people without them having to enroll. So you could just click here and people would see your lesson. So you know more or less uh, what you what to expect from the course, In a world bursting. right? So that, that's usually important. So you can have that and you can also set it as a prerequisite. This means that people couldn't they cannot just browse it through your course, or they cannot navigate if it's, if it's something that's mandatory. And in addition, you can set it as ready or just as a draft. So if you click here and enable that, your lesson will be ready, meaning that everybody will see. So if I enroll in your course and you have uh, all your lessons are published, are ready, but you're still building the course, so you have some of them as drafts, once you publish them, I will have access to them. That's something great that you can then notify your subscribers um, on uh, new lessons that you are releasing. But in general, let's then see what else is here. So setting up the goals, AI generated for us too, we have that. Then we have nutrition for muscle building and AI suggesting here to add a video about macronutrients, add a PDF here about meal planning basics, and then just some audio about supplements overview. This, is, this could also be a video with you reviewing some supplements that you have tried before. And then you also have uh, a quiz over here that AI does for you, right? So let's try to see. I didn't build this quiz. That, that was AI. But you can then check it yourself and see if that's, that's actually worth it, right? One of the co most common mistakes beginners make in strength training, right? So not warming up properly. And AI will tell you if that was correct or not. And also the reason. And if I selected the wrong uh, answer here, we can test, it will tell me wrong. So th this is actually great then for you because then you can see it um, in, on your own overview with the stats and so on. This is how it would be. You will see that AI prepares the whole thing here for you. And let me put myself here to the right um, so that you see that at the end you have a completion page. And this page is pretty much congratulations that you finished the course and it allows you to give a certificate to you to your students right you can use a default certificate or you can even use a certificate that you created uh, and if you didn't in your scenario you can click to create a new certificate and you will see that you'll have a ton of templates to pick from and and you can even come up with your own but let's say i want to use it can be this so so fitness that's just a test so that you see that you can change things over here so the editor everything is on the right not much else to say about it but you have this possibility so if someone fin finishes your course they can have this token of appreciation and once you have this set up this means that you can then go to the settings and so that you see creating the course is very simple and if you use AI to help you out it will make your life way, way easier in setting it up, especially if it's your first course and you don't know how to structure it. That will be great. Even though you have the knowledge, it might be difficult to think about all the topics and so on. Uh, so let's see, my course title was Muscle Building in 32 Weeks. So this title will be visible for people. That's the most important thing you have to know. So it's always nice to have a catchy title, but this will be visible for everyone. And you could have a free course, one-time payment or subscription. For our scenario, let's do a one-time payment and let's do Stripe Connect. So this will be a very easy integration. Once you click, 
you'll just fill your information in Stripe and you'll be able to set up your, your account and it won't take you long. So let's see, like this course could be $49 and then we would have a course page and this is where you will have the thumbnail, all the inf little information about the course uh, over here. So we can click here to browse the files. I already added one here and then you can add a description. That's just an example. Don't take this literal uh, as this is <laughs> just a dummy course, right? The language of the course. Let's speak English here. Can be, can be for beginners. In category, this will be on health. But just to let you know, and this is the important part that I'd like to tell people, is when you're doing something, it's good to know where these things are going. And everything that I just filled will go over here. That you see all these little things will be there. And this is the description of the course. So that you know where all of this goes. And you are free to choose if you want to show the ratings or not. This video here that I have shows the ratings at the bottom. And if before I even go to it, if I just go to courses, you will see the ratings here. You can choose to not display it as well. It's, it will be your choice in course format and resources. We can also do this and we can call it video, for example, and other resources. So let's say I have seven videos over here. I have two audio files and I have 10 PDFs. Also some graphics, so it can be five graphics or six, and some materials. I just want you then to see that everything that I'm adding here will go to, to this part, so that people know what to expect. Then you have the course page link, so what's important here for you to know is that this will be your profile's uh, URL or your domain that you configured before on this profile we set up, and then it will have a directory, which will be the name of your course. So this part can be changed, but the rest will have to be changed on the profile itself, like we did before. Course page SEO, we already looked into that. So you know more or less what to do. For now, we will do exclude the page from search engine. And what makes GetResponse really stand out from the competition is the email subscription. This is a game changing feature here because your students will be able to join your email marketing list so that you can then keep them engaged. And you will see that this is the next level thing because you can enroll all the students right here or students who check in an opt-in box. So depending on your country, if you have certain rules you have to abide, you can then display GDPR, you can display California Consumer Privacy Act that, you, that I see here. Uh, but that's something that you will then have to create. But basically, what matters here is that this, this is a possibility for you to add students to your contact list and get response, giving you the ability to send them emails legally. And this is the best thing about that. And once you create a course, a new list will be created with the name of the course and you can click to publish. So let's do that and then we will check our profile. All right, so you see my course is already published and right now what I could do, it's just no thanks, I'll do it later. And I wanna check my profile. So let's have a look here to courses. Right, so you see it's already here. I can click on the details and you will see that everything I said uh, will be right here on the right. And here on the left, uh, as you start filling your lessons, they will start showing here, right? They don't show right now because they were all as drafts, but let me do this quickly. And boom, the magic was done. So all I had to do was to put all the lessons ready, 
and you see that everything was then uh, populated here. And what about the statistics? You see that I already had courses here, so let's check one of the courses that already has some stats. Uh, so just for us to see here an overview and for you to know what, what is possible actually with these courses. So you can see the en enrollments, revenue, average course rating, and these are the courses inside. Enrollment, student engagement, you can follow this, but then you will have student activity. And this is where you can actually track them and their progress. So you will know more or less if they are finishing the course or not. And, in a, and you will see that you will be able to influence how much they actually progress with, some, with the help of email. And you also have the reviews. As we saw, then they are displayed if you want in your profile. In this video up here, I will teach you how you can set up an automation workflow just so that you keep your students engaged, track their progress and upsell them your new courses. See you in the next video.